come, we are we are now on the pyramid uh, of the moon, and <laughs> so one thing is that in this moment I really love the energy here. We have um, when you walk up, everything is still covered in nature. As we will show you, everything is in a landscape, and there's so many animals and so much life still, so much wildness. Um, where on the Sun Pyramid, I told you guys last year, the the energy is more open and here is more compact. Also, there's floating different layers of energies. I found out recently <laughs> that uh, the war, the, the last war we had here, on top of the pyramid of the moon was the front line. So some of these hectical fear impulses that appears when you walk up in the moon comes from there. Um, so if we look at the pyramid itself, it has three layers. Right now there's only two of them uncovered. The first layer is concrete. We are already through it here. And the second layer is these stones. <laughs> and we can hear what the ones are saying. So these stones says that they come from the second civilization. The first civilization built the underlying layer as well as it did on the Sun Pyramid. After we had to cover that up and we had to protect what is inside, let's put it like that, or just mainly keep it into place, we built the second layer. Um, so that is in the same time as we built the second layer of the Pyramid of the Moon. The energy over here used to be much more peaceful. It is still peaceful, but the funny thing is when I when I felt the when I felt the three layers of the pyramid of the sun, there was still fear and, and anxiety in the second layer. They were still showing this battle, but somehow somehow when we built the second layer here, there was much more peace upon uh, the moon pyramid. It was as if they haven't noticed the value inside as much as they saw it uh, on the sun. So this layer of consciousness on this place ha has a lot more peace to it. talking with her deeper inside she says that I used to stand taller I used to shine more right now my my, my power and my energy is undercovered it's okay I'm vibrating in this female mother shape but I used to shine more out once when we all were connected the the plus and minus and irons <laughs> was floating around and the energy that I was representing felt much more powerful and was also shining out. Now I'm keeping it in and I am breathing. I'm breathing inside of this vacuum that I am uh, vibrating in. My expression may seem dark, but I'm vibrating with so much love and so much care. I contain so much energy, but as it is not un unleashed, you cannot measure it in the same form and sense as you can on the Sun Pyramid. Because of the emotional trauma that lies upon me, still, um, what you will measure is still a mix of these frequencies being sent out of emotional memories. Especially if you do it from the top layer of my stones. If you dig through the third layer, you will rediscover and you will feel that the vibration will start changing. But I am not activated in the moment, I am breathing inside. So, <laughs> guys, that was what we had to share from the pyramids of the moon at the moment. Um, 
what we could do is we could go talk with the with the energies from the war and maybe we could if they allow it we could help it uh, remove a little bit should we try it okay he always answered without words <laughs> so the beautiful thing about consciousness and awareness is that when when we give something con when we give something conscious we give with awareness when we, when we see it it immediately starts transforming so as long as we just feel the energy flow around but we don't see it, we don't allow it to express itself or represent itself, it stays. <laughs> now when we're talking about it, we're talking about this front line, I'm seeing these soldiers standing and I'm seeing the, the fear that lies within some of them and, and the anger, you know, and, and, the, and the suppressed layers of consciousness and at the same time standing on a secret place it was quite a weird feeling for also for them. Um, some of them was fall was falling and and those who was falling I still see them, I see the whole picture of how it worked. But as we bring it, it into awareness, their the, the heaviness of, of their beings start levitating. And And the beautiful thing about this and about, about duality is that in contrast to this heavy fall, in contrast to this fear, anger, confusion, disconnection, we are seeing this beautiful piece of nature. We are seeing this beautiful piece of vibration standing up afterwards and just shining a light. So those who still lie here, I just want to show them light. I want to show them that they are seen. And I will ask them if they will want to take my hand and return to the light.